Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. When was the last time that we actually stopped and thought about where our standing is? Uh, even as we talk about that in today's world and even thinking about previous generations, a lot of people thought about that in ways of finances or political-wise or you name it, that's how they thought about it. However, too often, that's not how we should be thinking about things. You know, even there was a time when people used to think about their standing as it was according to the church. Am I in a good standing? Do I have what I need? Am I actually giving enough to make my way to heaven? You know, that's really sad with us thinking about that now because it was a misdirected mindset of the times that led people down a very false path. And the sad thing is, too often, that's the same concept that we're dealing with today. You know, throughout the Bible, God continues to come back to us, reminding us that where we need to be is to be in Him. And our true standing needs to be one that's focused on Him and Him alone. Not on what may be happening in this world or what may be happening in our churches or communities or neighborhoods. He continues to remind us that we need to be going back to the Word of God to seek what is true, what is honest, what is of a notable report, so that we're able to continually be found in Him. Today's verse comes to us from Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, and it says this, The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace because he trusts in you, because they trust in in you because she trusts in you. You know, that's what we're needing right now. We're in such a crazy time in this world's history, but at the same time, we need to remember that there has never been a time that has not been crazy. Every single time period has been crazy. But it feels that because of social media, because of everything else, things are even crazier than they ever have been. God continues to come back to us and reminds us to focus on Him. Focus on Him and Him alone because that's where our peace is and that's where our peace comes from. Continue to keep our minds set on Him. Let Him keep us in perfect peace and we will be okay. Not just because we're okay, but because He says that we'll be okay even before things ever come. When God says this, he binds it to himself, binds it to eternity, and it means that things are going to be okay because he's the one in control. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.